Well, hello, my friends. Bob Baker here. I just wanted to uh, upload this video and wish you a happy Easter. At least it's Easter still where I am in the world as I record this. I know it's already Monday in other parts of the world. So whether you're uh, in it now or it was yesterday or whenever, I hope you're having a great day no matter what it is is. I uh, just wanted to uh, come at you and give you an update. A lot of you have expressed concern and sent me well wishes uh, related to uh, an incident with my elbow that happened recently. Um, maybe you already know about this, but real quickly, on Thursday, April 2nd, so close to a week and a half ago, I was actually getting ready to record a YouTube video heading down the hallway in my home here to this very uh, home office um, to record, and I, I just, I don't know, I lost my footing fell forward really hard and uh, ended up cracking the bone in my upper arm that's right above the elbow joint. Pretty good crack in that sucker. Um, it's the worst broken bone I've ever had. <laughs> Tomorrow and Monday, it'll be one week since I had uh, surgery to repair it. And so, yeah, it's been a very interesting week. I actually had a really good surgeon and a team and all that stuff that that was highly recommended and he was a available and it was an outpatient surgery. So when I think outpatient surgery, I think to myself, oh, it's just kind of a minor procedure. <laughs> or at least I was telling myself that story. But he did tell me I'd probably be about two hours. And it ended up being like twice as long. I don't know exactly why, but I just know that everything went well. Um, but four hours is a long time to be under anesthesia. And then not long after that, they send you home. And so if you've ever had a procedure like this, uh, they give you some kind of a nerve numbing thing that they tell you wears off in about 12 hours. And it did. So those early days were kind of rough. I was very sore. Yeah, very uncomfortable. Every day gets a little bit better. So this is just, this whole thing has just been a lesson. There's two things I just want to share with you. It's been a lesson in acceptance and a lesson in patience. So acceptance, um, I don't know how many times I have beat myself up for just how, you know, how could I be so clumsy? Just that simple little misstep led to all of this. And, you know, because actually Pookie and I we in a really good rhythm with the, you know, the stay at home thing. And I was kind of excited about sharing some things to help people get through this period. Uh, I was right in the middle of a uh, seven day video series about the seven crucial questions, which obviously I had to put on hold. You know, there's definitely a number of times I go, how can I be so stupid? How can I be so clumsy? Just one inch, if my foot had landed in a different spot, I would have happily walked down the hallway and none of this would have happened. But I just had to remind myself that this is what it is. Don't beat yourself up, Bob. Uh, this is what we're dealing with. And so let's get through it and let's make the best of it. Uh, also in patience. So they put this, uh, I'm in a sling, but I'm also in a a splint. It's not a cast, but it's a splint where they have like half of my arm, the underside of my arm uh, is in the splint that starts like a little below my shoulder. It goes down to my wrist because they don't want you to bend your elbow or, you know, I can move my arm, um, but not if it's been in the same position and it's going to be that way for two weeks. And so, but this thing weighs a bit. Uh, and at the, my most frustrating moments, it just felt like there was this bowling ball hanging at my side. It's very uncomfortable to sleep. I'm sleeping in a sofa recliner. And I just, I just want this thing to be over, you know, and just, I had those moments of frustration and anxiety. And I just had to remind myself, this is part of the healing process. Breathe, relax, you know? And so, man, I'm learning to practice what I preach. But every day it gets a little bit better. Uh, I'm getting used to this new normal that was already stacked upon the new normal of the coronavirus issues and staying at home. So it's been multiple layers of acceptance and learning patience. So a lot of you have encouraged me to just rest, to heal. Don't worry about cranking out more videos or don't worry about working, just take care of yourself. And I have done that, definitely. Spent a lot of time resting, uh, watching a lot of uh, movies that I've never seen before and documentaries. However, in recent days, I actually have gotten a little bit busy, just a little bit here and there, uh, recording some new audio, working on a few new things. And actually, that has proven to be very therapeutic too, because it distracts me. It takes my mind off of this soreness that I'm feeling, and it, it gives me a sense of purpose 
and meaning and allows me to think of something else except what's going on with my arm. And this has also forced me to think of ways that I can streamline my process. And some of the things that I'm thinking about, I may even continue after my arm, my elbow are completely healed. So I'm working with a new uh, video editor, which uh, I've never used before. I've always edited my own videos. I'm gonna be leaning on my audio editor more. Because I'm a DIY, do-it-yourself guy through and through. But this is a great lesson in letting go and allowing other people to help me and to build more of a team. And so I'm kind of excited about exploring that more. So little by little, I'm going to be getting back into the swing and you'll probably be seeing some new approaches and some new angles on affirmations and meditation, some new visual aspects that I hope you enjoy. You know, there's like 117,000 subscribers to this channel now, and you've been with me and supporting me and, and listening and absorbing my recordings for a long time now. Even before this accident, I was feeling a sense of like, it's t maybe it's time to change things up, try some new things, reinvent myself or the channel, not drastically, but just in some ways that will enhance what I'm already doing. And so this situation maybe is compelling me to do that a little bit earlier than I would have otherwise. So I just want to thank you for your support. Again, thank you for all the well wishes. I mean, it's really overwhelming. It's really touching. Uh, I so appreciate those of you who think about me and are sending your prayers and all of that. I read all the comments. I hear you. I feel you. And I just want to thank you. So again, happy Easter. I hope you're having a great day. I'm doing well, getting better and better every day. And I'm really looking forward to the magic that we will create together and how we will inspire each other in the weeks and months ahead. I'll talk to you soon. This is Bob Baker saying so long for now.